we have to explain the different parts of a transistor for this we shall draw an npn transistor this is an npn transistor which has three terminals which has three terminals npn transistor has three terminals and uh, they are made of n type and p type and n type semiconductors we can denote the three terminals as e b and c e is emitter b is base and c is collector and we can denote uh, the majority and minority charge carriers in n type emitter this is the emitter which consists of greater number of conduction electrons and lesser number of holes on the right hand side uh, again uh, we can uh, denote collector and this collector is n type collector is made of n type semiconductors and this dot means conduction electrons are the majority charge carriers and plus means holes which are minority charge carriers in n type collector in n type collector in p type base holes are the majority charge carriers or plus uh, circle plus is uh, r hole and this is the p type base this is the p type base and which consists of holes as majority charge carriers and uh, conduction electrons as minority charge carriers p type base consists of greater number of holes which are denoted by circle plus sign and a lesser number of my, um, uh, conduction electrons which are denoted by dot and in this case emitter has highest majority charge carrier density emitter e has highest majority charge carrier density now collector is the longest part of uh, the transistor collector c is the longest part of the tran transistor that means the length of collector is maximum now we can explain or describe the function of emitter e e is emitter and it emits majority charge carriers it emits majority charge carriers and here n type emitter uh, that is n type e emits conduction electrons as emitter is n type that's why uh, this emitter n type emitter emits conduction electrons and that will be migrating towards the base if it is forward biased if the emitter is forward biased in that case majority charge carriers that is the conduction electrons produced by the emitter e will migrate into the base into the base b and here now and also we can explain the function of collector or base in this case we have to describe the function of base here the base provides the proper interaction between the emitter and collector the base provides the proper interaction between the emitter and the collector in this case base provides the proper interaction between the emitter and the collector now we can explain the function of collector and the collector is n type collector in this case for n type npn transistor and the collector collects the collector collects the majority charge carriers coming from the emitter through the base the collector collects the collector collects the majority charge carriers the collector collects the majority charge carriers from the emitter e through the base through the base in this case n type collector collects the uh, conduction electrons that is the majority charge carriers coming from the n type emitter through the p type 
बेस कलेक्टर कलेक्ट द मेजोरिटी चार्ज कैरियर्स फ्रॉम द इमीटर थ्रू द बेस दैट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ कलेक्टर